Bacteriophage is a virus that specifically infects bacteria. So bacteriophage just means bacteria eater. And all bacteria that have been examined are thought to have these natural enemies. So they're very, very specific. So for example, a bacteriophage that infects E. coli won't infect another species of bacteria. So they're natural enemies of bacteria. But what we're trying to do <laughs> with those viruses is try to find the ones that are the most sort of aggressive killers. So we're looking for the viruses that in the wild are the other sort of winners. What we want to then do is take those winners, make lots of them and use them to get rid of a bacteria where we want to get rid of it. In order to find the correct um, virus to treat a, a bacteria, what you really have to do is understand where that bacteria lives. So lots of bacteria that cause infection in humans, it's not really what they intended to do, they're just opportunistic pathogens. So for example, something like Pseudomonas is really well widespread in soils and rivers. And to find the right one, you need to isolate your virus on something that you want to be able to treat. So you start off with this sort of dirty sample that you enrich on the strain of interest and then you put a little bit of the enrichment that you've made and enrichment essentially just your environmental sample and, and the right strain and if there's a virus there that will replicate. So you take a little bit of that, you spot it on your lawn and then if you get some cell death you can then pull this thing out and then you can purify that by taking it through many, many rounds of repeating this process maybe up to 15 times until you make your virus just what's known as clonal. So you just got one virus at the end and then you can examine that to see how effective it is. Phages were found 100 years ago and initially they were developed as therapeutics but after antibiotics came along, most research in this area more or less stalled. So we've got a, a lot of making up to do, but now we have the strong driver of um, antimicrobial resistance. There is a big resurgence in this area, so it's an exciting time to be looking at these uh, organisms.